Hey guys, it's Di, and this is a video request to do a review on the Highlights magazine that we received as a gift for Christmas. And this is the High Five version. It is the version for early childhood for ages 3 to 5. And this is the one that Isabella received. And we actually also received the Hello magazine, which is for the younger age version, ages 1 and 2. And this is the one that Natalie received. And Isabella has enjoyed reading both of these. So even if you have a 2-year-old that is maybe you know, just an early two-year-old, they might enjoy this Hello magazine as well. These are both made by Highlights, which is a child's magazine for grade school age. And I remember getting Highlights as a kid. I always really loved it. It had great activities and stories and things like that in it. So these are kind of like a scaled-down version of the Highlights magazine that are age-appropriate for the different ages. So the Hello books are really great because they're like little magazines, but they're coated with almost like a dry erase type material. So that way if the baby slobbers on them or you know it gets stuck in their mouths it's not going to immediately ruin it so I really like that they thought about that. It's got bright pictures on it and there's short stories that are fun to read and Natalie enjoys looking through this at the pictures and, in, and reading the short stories. The stories are very very short like five sentences long so definitely will hold their attention and it talks about different things like colors. These little find it pages are actually some of Isabella's favorite things right now. She likes to look through and find the different things and with Natalie we sit through and point out the different things. And then you can see that there's just a few different stories in the Hello, Ma Hello magazines and on the back they always have these bye bye pictures which are cute. So I like that these are brightly colored and these are just a really cute little magazine for smaller children. Then as the child gets older in the preschool age range, they have this High Five magazine. And I really love this, especially Isabella loves this. This one starts to have more words in the stories. They're longer and they have more sentences. And you can see that the it's actually like a little story in there. They have hidden pictures that are a little bit more complicated, more things going on. It's harder to find the areas. And it also touches on other languages like Spanish. It also has fun games. We've had a lot of fun with this one around our house. This one was a shoe match game and it had a little story that went along with it. So you actually detached the match game from the back and scrambled it all up and Isabella could go through and match those. On the back it has a little art activity that you can do and also I like that some of the things are thematic. It has little motor skill activities that they can do, little physical education activities here in the back that have directions and just lots more stories and bright pictures, which is great. So we have really enjoyed going through these. I remember highlights as a kid, and I remember I always enjoyed it, so I was very excited when we received this as a gift for Christmas. This is what the February issue looks like, and you can see that there's just regular stories in here, but then some of the things are actually themed for Valentine's Day. So this one's called That's Silly, and it's supposed to be the silly things that don't match the room, like that shouldn't be there, like a zebra in the window that they have to find. But I like that they've thought about making it a Valentine's Day theme here at the top. And then the art activity for the month is also a Valentine's Day theme. So we have really enjoyed these. I think the girls are going to get a lot of use out of these and they've been extremely fun so far to go through and read the stories with the girls and do the activities as well. So I'm going to be incorporating these in our preschool at home program and I would suggest that you look into these if they seem interesting to you or you remember highlights magazines as a child. I think that these would be a great gift idea as well. Obviously we received them as a gift and we've really enjoyed them. So let me know what questions you guys have and I will be happy to answer those for you guys and hopefully this review has been helpful thanks so much for watching and have a great day